everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. So tell me people, when you want to offer help, how do you make your offer in English? Well, it's very common for English speakers to offer help in a conversation just to be polite and helpful. So there are certain expressions that we use in order to make your offer. And what exact expressions do we use? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. We are going to learn some expressions to offer help. Well, it's always nice to offer help, right? So let's have a look at some expressions. The first one here is, can I get you some juice? So when you have to start making your offer, you can end up using, can I, okay? Can I get you some juice? Uh, can I be of any assistance to you? So this is the way you would begin to offer your help, okay? Because many a times I have noticed that English learners, even if they want to help, but they get a little nervous to open their mouth. So I'm sure these expressions would be really helpful to you. So as we said that can I is a good choice of expression, especially when uh, you are in a social situation, like when you are uh, in a party or you have guests at home. So this is the way you would ask, can I get you some juice? Uh, can I be of any assistance to you? Okay. Now another one here is, shall I help you with your project? So you begin to make your offer by using the phrase, shall I? Now shall I is uh, pretty formal. So you can use this when you are in your corporate world, okay? So when you are at work, you can end up using by offering help and saying, shall I help you with your project? Uh, shall I take care of these files? Okay, so it's more formal. Now always remember the expressions can I and shall I is followed by a verb. However, you do not end up using the word to. Okay, so it's without using the word to, but can I and shall I is always followed by a verb. Okay, so I hope you got this right. Let's have a look at the third expression here. Would you like to drink some coffee? Now, would you like to drink some coffee. Now here you can start by offering help and saying would you like to drink some coffee. Now always remember the expression would you is also again pretty much formal but it is always followed by a noun or by a verb with using the word to. Okay, so would you like to drink some coffee? Now another thing that I really want you to make a note of is the word some here. Now I have observed many people end up saying, would you like to drink a coffee? Well, that's incorrect because coffee is an uncountable noun and you cannot say, would you like to drink a coffee? People say, would you like to drink a tea? Would you like to drink a milk? That's absolutely incorrect. You would always end up using the word some or little. Would you like to drink a little coffee? Would you like to drink some coffee? Okay, the reason because coffee is an uncountable noun. Okay, so please make a note of this and let's have a look at another expression here. Do you want me to have a look? at your work or at your math problem. Now at times you're not sure if your help would be welcomed. Well with a nice heart you do make an offer. However, you're not sure if the other person is really happy. So in that case you end up asking, do you want me to have a look at this project for you? and you wait for an answer, okay? Just don't go ahead and start helping. You wait for an answer. 
So if your offer is welcomed, then yes, go ahead, start helping. But if someone declines it, no problem, don't worry about it. But that's the way you would make your offer, okay? And then the last one is, I'd be glad to help. Now here, when you end up saying, I'd be glad to help, it means that you're really happy to help. You're very excited and you're pretty positive that your offer would definitely be helpful and will be happily accepted by the other person. So you just go ahead and say that I would be glad to help you with this, okay? Or I would be glad to assist you with your project or I would be glad to assist you with your homework, okay? So this is the way you would end up using these expressions to make your offer in English. Now, as I said, that there are people who accept offers or who decline it. So if you are at the other end, if someone is making you an offer, if someone is helping you and asking if he can help you or if she can help you, how do you accept it or how do you decline it? Well, let's have a look at some expressions. So here are some phrases that you can use to respond to any offers. So the ones that I've written in orange, they are used, well, to respond, to accept uh, the offers, okay? So if someone ends up asking you, uh, would you like to have some coffee? You would say, oh yes, please, I would love to. So you're being nice and polite. So this is the way you would answer that you're A, that you're showing uh, that you're really happy that she offered you some coffee. So you be nice and polite and you would say, yes, please, I would love to, or yes, please, uh, that's nice of you, okay? The next one is if you wouldn't mind. So you are at work and uh, your colleague comes up to you and says, hey, uh, shall I help you with your project? And you would say that if you wouldn't mind, so here you're happy that he is ready to assist you with this project and you really uh, don't want to show that yes he's helping me I'm so excited you don't want to show that on your face so the best way to reply to accept the offer is uh, if you wouldn't mind okay so let's have a look at the third one here uh, thank you that would be great so, for example, um, you are in a party and uh, someone offers you a drink or someone would say that, uh, hey, would you like to have another piece of cake? So you would say, oh, thank you, that would be great. So again, you're accepting the offer that your friend or your family member just did. So this is the way you would reply, okay, and you would accept it. Now at times you really don't want any help. So how would you decline the offer made? Okay, so let's have a look. It's okay, um, I can do it myself. So for example, mm, you are working on um, your project and your colleague says that, hey, would you like me to help you with this? So you really don't want his help okay so rather than being very rude by just saying oh no that's all right i'll manage you can just say oh it's okay i can do it myself so you don't want to be rude and you want to be you want to decline that offer so make sure that you also note your tone okay so it's not just the expression that you use but it's the way you say it so you would say it's okay i can do it myself okay so this is the way you would decline right the next one is uh, don't worry i'll do it okay uh, don't worry i'm just having a look at it like when you go to a shopping mall and at the store, um, one of the staff member comes up to you and says, oh, are you looking for something or do you need my help? So you will say, oh, don't worry, I'll do it or don't worry, I'm just having a look at it. Okay, so this is the way you would decline the help. 
And then the last one, very basic, very simple, no thank you. Okay, so if someone says, would you like to drink some tea or would you like to have some uh, juice, you would just say no, thank you. Okay, so this one is very basic and I'm sure you would not forget it too. Okay, so these are the expressions that you can use to accept or to decline the offer. Okay, and that brings me to the end of this lesson. Hope this is helpful to you and make sure that you use these phrases on a daily basis. Don't be nervous, don't be scared, just use it. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.